Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally made it. And I hate using the word final. I've said that before, <laughs> but we have made it to the end of uh, this series of trying to make a town, even though that was not the uh, initial idea. It came from a, uh, just a, a mechanical mayhem was coming out. Dizzle had created a uh, quick gas station to showcase the, uh, the blueprints, the vehicle blueprints. I thought that'd be cool. And then it, it snowballed from there pretty much. But uh, really quick, for those that are tuning in for the first time to this, uh, this is in survival. That's what Dizzle likes to play in the most. And I will be the first to admit, you don't need anything like this <laughs> to play in survival. <laughs> uh, but this, this turned out really well. I'm very happy. I had a lot of fun. Uh, that's what the exclamation is for. Uh, the question mark, I guess, is more or less because obviously it's with high complexity, we're only able to get so far. And uh, it's up to the interpretation, guys. Uh, I feel we did well. Whether you feel that way or not, I guess, is for you you guys to decide <laughs> in the comments. But uh, overall, I'm, I'm happy, guys. This was fun. Uh, I added some vehicles in here just to give it that feel of uh, of the town, more of the town, as well as I added... If I plant, if I plant or add anything more, guys, we hit very high now. I tried to. I'm actually glad that these were done uh, in the grass because this this makes it look really nice, more uh, more like a, a village, you know, different parts of an area. Like uh, this is uh, more of the uh, like the, like the outskirts, and this is more of like the uh, city like over here. Definitely have learned some things. I think if I were to, uh, would I do this again? Uh, yes, I would. I would definitely do this again. Uh, anytime soon, probably not, but I would do it again. And I would, uh, usually I look for areas like this, this, this area guys used to be my um, area. What I would do uh, tutorials. It's right next to my actual village, my log cabin village. And uh, over time, this area turned into a place where I would come over here and uh, do tutorials. But again, it snowballed into something and it took over really quick. But I, I normally look for flat lands. I probably would not. If I were to do this all over again, I would look for more hills uh, because I think that's what creates this area to my left, which I think is the best area out of this whole town. And that's because of the hills. So I, I really wish I was able to do more of that on this side, even though I do like how it turned out with some of the grassy area. Uh, but yeah, if I were to do this all over again, I would definitely not look for flat land, nor would I make it flat. I would go... Uh, for hills because just because of the layer effect that that it gives uh the, the how your eye just goes up uh, outside of that let's see again how this started was because of the uh, i'll now add a screenshot of that guys the uh, thumbnail i just thought it'd be cool to showcase the these vehicles uh, with the gas station i didn't even know at the time whether these compost bins were gonna fit in there or not uh, i brought them in over here in the trash area this was originally over there and when we're dealing with high complexity, uh, I moved it. Let's see. Then we created, uh, again, after the, the, the mock-up of the gas station, I'm like, you know what? Let's expand. Um, and I thought about uh, doing it with Durberger and someone had asked, if was, was I going to actually build anything with Durberger? So the timing was perfect. So we created the, uh, the inside space, which we converted into functionality for survival. Created some storage space. Garage for one of the vehicles. And then uh, we created this pumping station and then that pumping station. And then uh, someone had suggested uh, something to add to the town. I said, hey, what else you guys want? And then someone had said one, a single level motel. And I thought that was perfect. You know, like if we were, if we were gonna make this survival, how cool would that be to put, make this to where villagers then could live here? You know, there's five, five apartments here or Five little areas for the for them to sleep in. Oh, let me deal with this wolf. And it's a busted motel, the, the pool with holes. As well as I created this, uh, pur purposely put this uh, wheat, corn, and <laughs> then berries to make it seem like it was uh, out of place. This is the uh, office and where you would get your continental breakfast. This is the suite out of the, the five. This is the largest one. So you get two beds and a toilet in this one. If not, then you're you're forced to go use the community uh, bathroom and shower. I don't know why, but the throne here 
I always have to deconstruct and reconstruct it to sit on it. Never wants to work right. Kind of fits the uh, broken down motel. <laughs> uh, toilet paper to your right. Here we go. We flush. Nighttime's coming. I'll, I'll, I'll talk a little bit through that even though uh, night's falling. We got some nice lighting over here. Uh, and then the next thing was uh, a, a car wash. I thought, you know what? Every gas station has a car wash. Well, not every gas station, but most of them have car washes. So we created this. Non-functional, but I tried the best that I can, guys. Again, I was just having fun. Then the end of the, you know, they put this in here to basically dry your car. And then uh, I'm like, let's add a blueprint. I really wanted to add a blueprint in here. And I thought the uh, franchise was uh, fitting with what uh, we had going on with our gas station. And then these vehicles here, guys, we have the blueprints. And then this one here is by uh, Jack Specs. I'll, I'll link those in the description. I, again, I wanted to add some vehicles in here because I thought it'd be fitting, uh, especially with the space. I think these vehicles fit uh, pretty well. And then this one is by Light. This is my second time building this one. The first one disappeared on me. Uh, night's coming. I'll wait for daylight, and then uh, we'll get into uh, the rest of the uh, the build, guys. All right, guys. The sun's coming back up. Let's get back to uh, talking about this town. Created the. I don't know if I talked about this, but created a, a drive-through as well. The speeder is probably the best vehicle to get around this, and that that's the downside. I mean, if you really wanted to make this be functional for these these larger vehicle guys you would have to definitely build these roads wider um not sure how what 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 that would do with high complexity uh how much more of that would uh of it you would get or not get because these plates even though it's you're spreading your build out these plates do add uh to your uh count overall and it will eventually lead to some high complexity but the next uh, thing that does a work down after we got done with the car wash and the blueprint was, you know, I'm like, we need a reason for why this gas station <laughs> and the franchise uh, exist. So we started to put in, uh, we started to put in uh, homes and I thought it'd be cool to put these like on a, um, a foundation, almost like tri-levels that you would see like in the, uh, the outskirts of the city, not like downtown, but you know, just before you get into the downtown area. Created, created these little alleyways by by doing so. Uh, not all of these are have the floors in, guys. Again, because of high complexity, it, it got to a point of picking and choosing and then trying to see what worked and what didn't work. But for the most part, th this is how they all would, would work out. They would be livable space to use in survival. So if you wanted to make something like this, you can. It's just a matter, you know, how big you can make it. Everyone's, you know, server or builds are going to be different as far as what you can and can't do. But I think, again, I think one of the very cool parts of this this build, like I said, usually Dizzle will look for, and I didn't plan it this way, guys, but usually I will look for flat spaces. And that's what this was, because I was doing tutorials here. But then when I started building out this way, it started to create these layers. And then using these, uh, the blueprints from Durberger and then uh, abandoning the build, it left these structures there for you to build on. And then I'm like, you know, how do I connect them? And I used the stairs from the homes to start connecting these. And I thought it was, you know, pretty cool how you're able then to get, create these little separate zoning areas for where residentials uh, existed. Uh, Dizzle then came up with the, I wanted something other than just the, the two level homes or the tri-levels. And you could make this, if you were to plan this out, you could actually make this to where you could go downstairs and have that space livable completely underground, uh, depending where you lined it up with uh, these pieces and you took those out. So that'd be again, something in the, again, you know, things that I've learned from this and something I'd probably do in the future. But this space actually is built out. Again, I built some of these. So they built out one of these apartments, basically would be like a studio. So somebody could, uh, if you're playing with multiple people, well, oh, I, uh, I didn't put the stairs in there. This will still has some things unfinished. Do that now. Again, this one, actually the floor on the one below is one layer too high. It needs to come down some.
And this is the backside. I, I tried to put more windows in here. Obviously, when the sun shines on it, you can't tell. But from the inside, with the sun, with the sun sets on that side, it looks really nice on the inside with the sun coming through. Kind of like if you remember me mentioning where we did um, in our modern beach house that we're doing with the lighting, the way it's coming in, and how we uh, laid it out. That's kind of what that is too. And then I just kind of try to break these up. You know, the the apartments I did with the gray instead of the white. And then try to use different windows. Like those are, are two separate windows. These are one single. That one's bumped out a little bit over there. Because I was messing around when I first made this one. I was messing around with different variations. And I kept building, trying something out and deconstructing. I'm like, that's kind of pointless to do that to you. And I just, I started to make more. And then tried some things on, on, on these over here. Again, with changing out the windows and then this is all one structure, but I thought it'd be cool to make it look like if it was two by making one side white, one side blue, as well as adding the, uh, the balcony on the, the top and the bottom. I mean, I obviously I did that on the back too, continuation of the color to make it look like uh, two separate buildings. And then this one here, basically this, and I'll walk all the way around. I wasn't able to do right away because of, we were hitting high complexity pretty quick. And I knew we would. I kept mentioning it when we were building things out. I'm like, we're going to hit high complexity. This is my third third uh, big build like this where I've hit it and not been able to completely finish. So I knew we were going to hit it. It was just a matter of when and where. <laughs> um, so actually, uh, moving some things around, like I said, the I don't know if I mentioned it, but the... Uh, this garbage area over here was over there. I thought it'd be uh, better to get rid of it. Made some changes. We had to retail in here eventually, uh, and over here, then eventually we had to take it out because of the high complexity. But once we made some changes and we were able to add these structures all the way around, which was nice. As you can see, it turned out really well. And then uh, I really wanted to fill this space because I didn't like it. So I came up with the apartment and originally I had it like that one. Then I made it a little bit bigger to the left as well as I bumped it back in. And then in the process, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to push it to the limits. <laughs> and uh, I came up with little balconies on each one. You know how the, uh, some of these apartments would, would have that balcony. Basically, they would tell you uh, no grilling on the balcony, but you always see a, a little Smokey Joe on one of those. <laughs> uh and that's really it guys. And then I just went around just trying to put some finishing touches. Like I put the ACs on each of these. Then I started to put in uh, the street lamps and I put some, some berries to represent like flowers and stuff. I wanted to add more, but like I said, I, once I started adding this, actually I had them had two here, this row, this, and I didn't have any berries in them yet. And I started to put here and then I hit very high complexity. So I'm like, you know what? That's it. I'm, I'm not going to push it anymore. I didn't want some here and not over there. I at least wanted it to look consistent. And I was able to get the street lamps in, the lights on each of these. But I had fun, guys. I think overall, again, I'm very happy, very pleased with how it turned out. Again, that this this was not an uh, initial idea where like, you know what, I'm gonna build a town. <laughs> that was definitely not the case. So I'm, I'm happy with, you know, creating just something simple for uh, a new update turned into something like this. So this was fun. I had a lot of fun. We got a lot of feedback from you guys. The comments were great. Um, couldn't ask for anything more guys. Your, your, uh, your input has been great on this, this, uh, series. I really enjoyed it. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Um, after this guys, I, uh, I did mention I have phase two planned. Nothing big. Phase two is going to be right where that pleasant park structure is. That whole area right over here. I won't say what it is yet. I'm probably going to work on uh, that one. I won't re I'm going to record it probably at the end and bring you guys in. I'm not sure I can do multiple episodes on that with what I want. Uh, and a big part of it too, is I want to get back to our modern beach house. Uh, I'm missing that build. That one's a really nice build as well that I think we uh, need to get back to. We have a lot to do over there still. So I hope you enjoyed this one guys. Again, your, your input has been great. I had fun. Um, if we ever get the high complexity, uh, area cleared, Dizzle will come back and, uh, add some more detail to this. We'll get some of these buildings, um, with floors in them. I think that'd be the next, the next step. But I think even though it is faked out, I think, I think we, it looks like a town. I'm 
very happy. All right. So if I miss anything, go ahead and put some comments, uh, put the comments in there and I will try to answer your questions outside of that. Uh, guys, Dizzle, we'll see you on the next one.